It pisses me off when you don't let me listen to music. <gasps> Did I go? I felt fall. Ah. <laughs> Slower down around turns, you know how these wheels are. Oh, that's so cute. But she skips it up. <laughs> so I just let bugs fly in my house. I have so much more room for activities. It might be one of the most controversial things I've said on this channel. Hello everyone, happy first day of fall. Happy first freaking day of fall. I'm so excited. I walked outside this morning. I felt fall. I felt it in my soul, in my veins, in my heart, and on my skin when I walked outside. It was so crisp. What we're doing today is I just picked up Annika from school. I also surprised her with a little baby pumpkin for the first day of fall. It was very cute. I should have recorded that. But I'm getting better. Look at me. Look at me filming when I wasn't planning on it. I am now about to make Annika my signature pot pie, chicken pot pie. Um, since I've never made her one and I've made my friends one before I made my own daughter one. Um, and she has not let a day go by without reminding me of that fact. I guess I never posted on the other video that I did, but it's quite literally the easiest recipe in the world. All you need is some form of chicken. I've told you guys I like to use just a rotisserie chicken because it's already cooked and flavored and good. I just feel like it goes like a little extra mile when you do these. I always, always, I finally just got myself one of these pie um, pans. These Pyrex ones that have just like the pie around, they're $4. So if you ever make a pie for somebody, I like to just go ahead and get this for them so they can just keep it. Then you literally need five ingredients. You need a can of cream of celery, nope, cream of chicken, can of cream of celery, and then this guy. And you mix all these three together. And then I don't home make my pie crust, I just get this guy. You lay one down, one on top. I will actually leave the recipe on the, in the description notes on this video so you can come back to it, but it's so freaking easy and good. Annika is currently just checking on her girl because you guys, you know Miss Organization is not thriving right now. <laughs> She's in the middle of listing all of her Poshmark things, so we've got piles of different things going on. Go on yeah, go look at her Poshmark if you, if you haven't just yet. All right, here is the before. How cute is she? And three, two, one. Look at that. Also, listen to this. How freaking gorgeous. Let's get Annika's reaction. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. I'm Molly Granger. Oh, that's so cute. It's that. That's so cute. It's that Jay so, so cute. It's, it's sizzling. Okay, I want to take pictures. My room smells like Shannon Ford. <laughs> Good morning. It is the very next day. We ate our chicken pot pie and watched Descendants 3. Those movies are good. I never could get behind why Annika loved them so much, but they're they're pretty good. Now, I think it's because I have an issue with musicals. Oh. What? Oh. You need to leave. I know, I know that's very problematic. It might be one of the most controversial things I've said on this channel, but I just have an issue with musicals. And I try to look past them and, and appreciate the film as a whole. And that's what I've done with Descendants and it's very good. So you're welcome for admitting that, Annika. Second, I think I've decided what I need to do. I'm watching some Miss Remy Ashton, like I do every day. I think that I would be a better YouTuber if I could just wake up and follow her around all day. I wouldn't talk. I would just see when she picks up the camera, when she doesn't, what she does, like I just, feel like that would help me a lot okay so there's no chance that Remy Cruz is watching this but if you are Remy Cruz I would love to just follow you around for a day my door's open so a wasp just got in here I need to get one of those screens that goes on my doors that, like when I leave my doors open but I just hate how it looks so I just let bugs fly in my house Mm -mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. I need to get on Amazon.com right now. Okay, I'm now doing a quick little DIY project. I have this Nash shirt that's just a little bit plain for me and I thought that I had this dye. It is the sandstone. So I thought that would be a cool color to go with that um, and tie dye it. And then this is a Trixie and Katya shirt that is just like too pink. So I'm gonna add more pink <laughs> to it and tie dye this one. So I've never tie dyed with this method before. So let's see how it turns out. I've got Miss Rumi Ashton on in the background. Annika's right over there eating and we're just having us a chill day. Hi, okay, we came to ramen spot. Yes, yeah, so we came to a ramen spot. I wanted to bring Annika oh, to, this is, this is the best place in Nashville for it, but I wanted to bring Annika to a ramen spot. We were just like, you know what? Annika would love this place. It's literally everything she eats every single day. I love this place and yeah, it's yeah, right yeah. my house. We're also trying boba for the first time. Okay. What if I hate it? Wait, they both told me they'd never had boba before, and I was like, are you kidding? There's so many funny viral videos of people trying boba for the first time. Which one did you get, Annika? The sweet tea and cream. Sweet tea and cream. That sounds really weird to me, but okay. I'm that's, nervous. Like, that's like what you get at Starbucks, pretty much. Did you get 
Pick it up. I like the cream. Did you get, a, get boba a, boba. a boba pearl? Oh. You just stab it in the bottom, you'll get one. Be. I thought it was gonna be like a pop with jelly in it. It's not. Don't tell me. Don't tell her. Okay. Oh God, I'll start straight up. Barfing. You're gonna keep getting them. That's the point of okay. it. She goes, I got another one. one. <laughs> you know, if there's weird textures going on in my mouth, I immediately start. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Do it. Mm. I love them. Mm. Okay, the second one was better. Sorry. I knew what to expect that time though. Ah. <laughs> it's good because the tapioca, they're tapioca pearls, so that's mm -hmm. what it is. They don't really taste like much. No. So it's like kind of just fun. I feel like it just tastes whatever, like whatever it's, mm -hmm. like this has a lemonade taste to yeah. it. today today is the very next day and we have a jam freaking packed day Annika and I both got Starbucks this morning I just got a pumpkin cream cold brew and I have been loving the spinach feta wrap I've tried it here and there like over the years it's never warm enough when they cook it there so I always bring it home and pop it back in the microwave and it is so juicy and good it's so good spinach feta wrap from Starbucks then I have lunch with a friend later on and, and I'm grabbing Annika from school I'm gonna try to do some fall shopping then but if not I did go to Bath and Body Works yesterday and get my fall candles for the year so I am gonna share those with you guys too so before we get too much further into today's video I did want to take a moment to to thank today's sponsor which is the pill club i had so many comments and dms from you guys last time i worked with them that i was really excited to work with them again as a teen mom i think birth control is just so so very important and vital and healthcare for women is just unnecessarily complicated so this makes it a little bit easier on us the pill club includes discreet delivery self-care goodies and over 120 fda approved birth control brands the pill club provides access to care from the comfort of your home delivered straight to your door if you're needing to renew your birth control prescription maybe try a new brand or trying it for the first time or if you know what brand you want or need a little bit of help deciding the pill club medical team has your back the pill club is a birth control subscription prescribed by a medical doctor and ships for free directly to your home most brands of birth control are free with Medicaid but otherwise prices start as low as seven dollars a month right now when you go to the pillclub.com forward slash Jenica the pill club is actually offering a ten dollar donation to bedsider.org for every subscriber who becomes a patient that donation will actually help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's thepillclub.com slash Jenica to get your first birth control package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. In order to provide that donation, you need to use the link in the description, but that's thepillclub.com slash Jenica. Okay, remember I said that I got Annika a pumpkin on the first day of fall? How cute is this? I think this is such a good idea. Like on October 1st, get your kids like a little mini pumpkin for their room for the month. But isn't it so cute and like perfect? It's literally the perfect pumpkin. Okay, on to my Bath and Body Works candles. Wait just a second. Why is that so good? I'm sorry, but if you're one of those people that, this was me literally until like two years ago. I was like, I'm not fucking into pumpkin. What is even pumpkin? I'm into pumpkin. Let me just tell you, I'm into pumpkin. Oh, look, I have so much more room for activities if I do it like that. On to my fall candles. And I got one. I don't remember which one she got. This is like the most Halloween candle that I got. This is pumpkin carving. First of all, look how cute this is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one is freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, smooth brown sugar. So this one gives me very much. I don't like for fall candles, I don't want any spice. Like, I don't need any cinnamon in my fall candles. That to me is Christmas. Or like holiday this is pumpkin you know what i mean this one's not halloween but it's black so it could be this is one of the best smelling candles that bath and body works offers and i keep these on deck this along with sun washed citrus is my like number one favorite bath and body work but the mahogany teakwood it kind of it just smells luxurious and it smells like maybe a little bit of 2005 Abercrombie and Fitch too, but this one's the high intensity one. So I feel like this will, I don't know. I just, 
if you need an excuse to buy it. Okay, next I went with, this one's not super fall either, but one of my favorite scents in candles is like a citrus, like a sunwash citrus. It gives me the vibe of Capri Blue candles, but this one is called Fairy Tale. It's their brand new one. I just thought that this little wrapping was so cute. And it is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, and vanilla bean with warm amber. And it gives me fall vibes without being pumpkin or something. You know what I mean? Like, mmm, it's so good. But I fucking love Christmas candles. I was so excited about fall candles that I forgot about holiday candles. Okay, so you guys remember this candle from a couple of vlogs ago. Bath and Body Work now has these little, like, things that hang on to the candle. It's Murdy. This makes me so happy. And the fact that I can keep it year round because it looks like my cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a 10 out of freaking 10 for me. Look at that thing. Speaking of being obsessed with cats. I think I heard you sunbathing upside down. Hey, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> you look like a fluffy mess. Oh, Miss Jealous. Hey. So right now I'm going to go get ready. I just don't want to wash my hair. Can we get away with this for one more day, you think? No. Okay. I have been recording for 11 minutes. What have we been talking about? I don't know, you guys. Okay. I'll see you guys later. So I am about to get ready for the day. I'm going to have lunch with my friend Brie. I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. I feel like an older like cousin to her or something. We have been family friends with them probably since Drake was born, I guess. I don't know. It's like 20 years. Is that not crazy? I have to sh insert some pictures of us as, as children though. She's like one of the first people that all held Annika when she was first born. She goes to Knoxville as well. She goes to the same college as Drake. I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. She's just such a little gem and I love her and want the best things in life for her. Okay, next. I never really talk about makeup much anymore. I felt like I wasn't good enough, so I stopped. This is my favorite foundation. It's pretty full coverage. It feels so good on my face. It's the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Love it. But now that my skin has cleared up, I've really just enjoyed and embraced not having to wear a full coverage foundation every single time I, I wanted to, you know, wear makeup. So I have been using, I talked about this on my Instagram story the other day. I've been using this Morphe Glow Stunner. It's a hydrating tinted moisturizer. I have not had my socks blown off by a tinted moisturizer in so long. And this tinted moisturizer leaves my face just like a glowy, bright look. It's so good. So I've really been enjoying this. I need to just do a video of like my current everyday, just day to day glam look. The next thing I wanted to share with these Lumify drops, I have been using these since I worked at the eye doctor's office in like 2015. They're by Bosch and Lom, which is a really good contact lens brand and they have eye drops and things. But what this does, it makes the whites of your eyes so, so bright and white and crisp. And I have a lot of issues because I have dry eyes. And so I have a lot of just really, really red veins. I mean, you can see right here. I have so many just like red veins in my eyes. And then lastly about my face, <laughs> I did want to mention I just got, I have not even brushed them out today, so please do not judge. I got my brows laminated this week. Look how good. So essentially what a brow lamination is, is it kind of perms the brows to stand up and so they look fuller. If you can see, this is just with me brushing it out, but these brows will stay like this all day long. And then my lashes, I have zero product on my lashes have nothing on my i'm so close to the camera sorry you guys but look at this lash these are all my natural lashes Stop. i got a lash lift and tint for the first time how cute i just wanted to give you kind of an update because these are things that i've really 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 been loving lately let me show you let me sh actually show you this glow stunner this stuff is so so good i did have some spots from shark week last week so i'm just gonna cover those and boom the face is done obviously i don't have any blush or anything else on just yet but look how pretty and glow do you see just like the glow it looks like my face is so hydrated all right now to work on the rest of my face and i'll see you guys in a minute okay this is the fit this is that one shoulder top from white fox i have worn this so many times i wore it at the beach as well with my sister these are just some black biker shorts from target and this is that white fox blazer i dressed it up with some jewelry and my mocha jordans this i think though for like a little brunch moment is very cute think that i'm gonna do hold on i think i'm gonna do these sunglasses i feel like these like pink do they need their moment right now or is their moment not right now i feel like their moment's not right now no okay you know what i'm just gonna do the trust y'all see look at that 
these these trusty little Amazon guys are the winner every time truly and I have like good sunglasses and these are the ones I go to every single time so they'll be linked in my Amazon shop my Amazon shops always linked in the description and lastly I think that I'm also just gonna do my Telfar normally I wouldn't go for a bigger purse for just like a little couple things but I love that it matches like almost perfectly and this bag is just so good if you're not familiar with Telfar it's a black owned brand it's so good the bags sell out in like five seconds this is the main color that I wanted I also have that pool blue the small one but the next one I want to get is I want to get this size again in the electric blue they only drop every few weeks and only one color at a time so you got to be following them on Instagram it's just so buttery and it's like luxury without breaking the bank I think this big size was $200 and we're off Okay, I was just about to show her something so cute, and I was like, well, I have to show with you guys too. Look at this. Uh -oh. This is Annika's baby book. Am I in it? You're in it. Let me flip the. <gasps> Annika! Look at that! Is that not the sweetest I'm thing you've baby ever seen? I'm your baby. Look and at that's this. My mom. Yes, yes. Look at your mom looking at that baby. Like, look how fresh she is. I'll just come over and sit on the couch. Like, I remember this. She just wanted to hold Annika all day. Look how cute. Annika's in school or we would recreate it. That literally looks like me from the back. Isn't I'm that scared. crazy? Is that you? Yeah, and then this is me. We don't have to show all this. <laughs> <laughs> that is about two days after giving birth. Aww. So cute. Okay. That's sweet. All right, we are gonna go to brunch and I'll bring you guys along. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <That's under you. laughs> sorry. Okay, we've, we've picked up Miss Girl, and um, we did get Gran's birthday present. We got her I some. I'm always eating. You are, and you're always eating Chick Fil A. I did get Gran's present. White's mercantile is so cute. It's just like a very homey, country, mm, upscale. I don't southern. even know how to pronounce it. It's very upscale, like it's up upscale southern. southern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just knew that that's exactly where I wanted to get Gran's present from. Miss Girl, what are you doing tonight? I'm going. Is that snack in your food, you animal? I'm going to one of my friends' house to get ready for a football game. I've never been to a football game. And I'm going to get my Poshmark stuff shipped out. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all, since this was like an Anna, because usually I am in the comments all the time, Annika's not logged in to our. Um, Will you get this? I mean, I'm driving a motorized vehicle. If you would have paid attention during your test, you would know that it's not safe. Also, I don't know why I love leaving my purse right there. It's, that's not safe. What was I talking about? We're both Dory. We are Dory. If one thing distracts us in the middle of a conversation, we will never go back to that conversation again. I really don't know. Yeah, we do. Come on, let's think. Then we were talking about you eating your french fries, you go to a friend's house. Practice. You, oh, Poshmark. Oh, Poshmark. Yes. <laughs> See, we got that. I gave her my phone. I was like, you need to look and respond to comments since this was your video. And she was like, wait a second. Why do I respond to the comments more? And this is giving me such a boost of confidence. Y'all can be fucking mean to me. Not all y'all. 99% of people. Someone today called her puppy. So, for this morning, I woke up at 7 a.m. and was called fat and ugly. Oh, and I was in there too. <laughs> yeah. Your daughter's ugly and fat, just like you. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's not great to see, but like those. We know it's not true. Us. Yeah, we know. we know we're skinny legends. I think that if y'all hype her up like that, she might start her own channel sooner than we. It might be coming. We don't know. I'm just afraid. And this is not us like teasing and being like no. a YouTube secret. This like, is like she... a serious conversation we've been having. Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't want y'all to feel like y'all have to follow my channel and then our channel and then she has her channel. Like, it's, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe we can have different sections under our one. I'm just afraid that y'all won't watch me. <laughs> that's, that's what it comes down to. I'm afraid that no one will watch me. I think realistically, like it would take a little bit for you to get, you know, your own following yeah, on that yeah. channel. The stuff that she would post on hers would be totally different vibe. Some people not, might not vibe with it. Some people might vibe with it even more than it they do with these. It also would probably be easier to start it once I can drive. So anyway. Yeah, I'll be back in like five minutes. Oh, this light's green, we gotta make it. It stays green for two seconds. I have a funny story about Myrtle. So the other day, Myrtle has really become a foodie these days. She is obsessed with food. I tried to be that girl that was like, I'm not gonna give my animals human, human food. food. Like right after we had gotten Luna. Going to school zone. Okay. You're going to school zone, sweet. I just turned. I'm not gonna turn and start going 45 miles an hour. I'm gonna so turn and gradually. I'm gonna do to you what you did to me. Right, I'm you see teaching. This one? You see that one right there? You might, they might pull out. Well, that's, that's good. This means that you're listening to me when I talk because I don't think that you do. Oh, I do. 
Do you have a seatbelt on? No. Yeah, so what about that? All right, don't apples. hit that car right there. I know it's in the middle of the road. Don't hit it. Anyway, so Myrtle has started loving getting in our sink. Oh, God. I don't know why. So she'll get in our sink, and if there was like, I mean, obviously we dump food off of our plates and stuff before we put them in the sink, but if there's like a little noodle or anything left, she eats it. She flicks it with her hand, and she gets it <laughs> yeah, in the she floor. Like <laughs> she scoops it up onto the counter, and then she scoops. That's exactly then what she, she does with her paws. And then she, she takes it in her mouth and, she and like, like takes it away. She like pats it. Her paws are like bang. Of course she throws up because she eats literally who even oh. knows what at this point. I was over at y'all know my little gray chair in my corner of my bedroom. Dude, you need to just insert the video. No. Yes you have it's to. It's too gaggy. People will literally out. We'll get. Just mute the sound. Okay I'll mute the sound. But I was go. Okay so I was sitting Imagine in that gray her. chair. I love just I'm a I'm one of those people that sit on the floor all the time. I love sitting on the floor. So I was in my gray chair and I was like mm, I feel like sit on the floor for a second. So I just like literally like slithered down to the floor and I was posting something or doing something on Instagram and then I went to send her reply she sent me a Snapchat and I went to reply back. So I was like about to start recording the Snapchat as I started standing up and I started standing up and I put my hand down. And I remember thinking when I first sat down, like, mm, it smells kind of weird over here. Who cares? Who cares? I put my hand down and I thought, wait a damn minute. I actually didn't even have to think that. I knew immediately what was oh, happening. I just, oh. And I looked at my hand and I looked at my body and there was cat throw up all over me, all over me. I immediately ripped my clothes off and got in the shower. I wonder what people think like when you do it, your voices. What voices? That you literally just do. I do voices? Um, yeah. I know, like I say sometimes. No, you just did one right then. And I just, I went. I was just emphasizing my talk, my story. Hello, hello. Hands on the wheel. Go slower, lower down around turns. You know how these wheels are. Sleep. <laughs> if one ray of sunshine hits my. Do not be worried about the sunshine. Mimi's calling me. Hello? Hey, Annika. Hey. Hey, Vlog. Hey, I was just saying it. Love okay. you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Annika likes to get in the car. Well, y'all know how passionate I am about music. I love to just burst, not burst it, blast. <laughs> yeah, blast it. And that's she has all a she's rule. concerned about when she's that's driving. That's all I'm concerned about. And it cannot go above it 25. Piss, it pisses me off when you don't let me listen to music, and then I'm I just care. not. I, then I'm not good at driving. You see, if I'm listening to music, then I have to be extra good so you don't yell at me and then take away the music. When Beyonce's Lemonade came out, I was so engulfed in that album that I was speeding and I had no okay, idea and I got pulled so over. We're, okay, here's the thing though. I'm not gonna do that. At least never not with you in the car. Never say never. Well, I'm gonna blast it when I get in my car. Well, you can do all you want in your car. So why would you not want me to get used to it? Because I get a headache. Oh God. <laughs> This is the thing, y'all think that I'm just this fun, cool mom, and I'm I'm just like every other mom. I say, no music above volume 25. 25. Captions have to be turned on the TV for me to watch it. What I else? mean, that's oh, for me too. My bag Guess of what chips. though, she's a descendant bitch. <laughs> I love this and that. I told them. Yeah, she loves it. I, I wish it could be not a musical, and then I would There's not that many it. songs. Oh, there's low battery. Camera, okay, okay you gotta we gotta go, about. we gotta, hey, we love you so much. Listen, the last, song, <laughs> the last song, I was like, just in case my camera dies, I, I do keep an extra battery, hey, but we're, 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 we're rambling, done. we're rambling. Love you so much, thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> Are you gonna say something? I just like Lady Panic. Say something! Say what? what, what? Bye. Oh, we figured out what mucho gusto means. <laughs> it means nice to meet you. Not, I'm done. If there's one thing I could change about myself, I'm not kidding. If there's one thing I could change about myself, it would be that I would be trilingual. I wish I knew English, Spanish. You know you have the ability to do it. Shh, and Mandarin. You know you have the ability to do it. And French. The ability to do it. I think that, um, you know that saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> you're not old, you're not 30 yet.